yourself and embracing that alternative music taste. Out of fear of being alienated and screwed This is the obsessive, exclusive and damaging culture some of the more extreme directioners are a part of. Modern society emphasizes individuality and being yourself. However, cases like that of Jasmine underscore 99 are examples in which this value by volume at a reasonable level, and they're playing with music they enjoy. They have a passion that shouldn't be suppressed. As Michael Flanders a fa a from Family Health magazine commented, many young boys in a band is just one way to do this. And if they happen to become famous, the next One Direction or the next Beatles, who were also started in their teens, and start spreading their music, who are we to stop the people from around the world loving that music. The chorus 1am live screaming for the latest 1D tweet video, and girls losing touch with reality, unable to accept the fact that they will never marry Louis Tomlinson. Now I'm sure you'll agree with me, ladies and gentlemen of the audience. The obsession must stop, and the only solution to the problem is for bands like this to be obliterated. Not in a literal sense, though I probably wouldn't discredit that idea entirely either but in a figurative sense. To stop the end of One Direction infection, which has already reached epidemic proportions, more than <laughs> After all, prevention is better than a cure. My second point is about the influence boy bands have on the innocence of the 20 boppers who skip around at school humming the lyrics of their favourite pop songs, unknowingly falling victim to the sexualised nature of these so-called squeaky clean boy bands. With their dapper bow ties, gloriously coiffed hairstyles, and beating white smiles, your classic boy band can keep the picture of all that is good and moral. Call me crazy then when I have to question just what they mean when they chirp suggestive lyrics under the guise of a catchy beat such as, hey girl, it's now or never. It's now or never. Don't overthink, just let it go. And if we get together, yeah, we get together. Don't let the pictures Leave your phone. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so they usually call in the song, Live While well, We're Young. The band seems to imply that to really live life to the fullest, completely living by and embodying the teeny bottle's YOLO lifestyle, <laughs> young, guys, young girls need to just let it go. And I can only assume they're referring to the conquest models. If we get together, oh well, we get together. It's not like you really have a choice in the matter. I mean, come on, I'm Harry Styles. <laughs> and don't let the pictures leave your phone. Oh, oh, oh. Well, if that doesn't advocate the wholesome pastime of sexy, then I don't know what from. <laughs> Another personal favourite of mine from that song is a lyric, so tonight, let's get some. So what? <laughs> Is against our human rights. Australia is a free country. 
If I were to Photoshop my face into every picture of Harry Styles and put it on MrsHarryStyles.com, who I knew I was issued to tell me I cannot do this. <laughs> analysis of everybody by the Backstreet Boys or the best song ever by One Direction to understand the artistry behind these songs. <laughs> and you don't know how beneficial these lyrics have been to countless teenage girls. Sometimes we need to be reminded that Backstreet's back all right. <laughs> that you don't know you're beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, are we to stop this profound lyrical genius? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at risk of causing a riot of support, I implore you that boy bands cannot and should not be 